Hello guys, my name is Andrei, welcome back. In this video I'll talk about uh, hybrid uh, rack approach where I'll show how Sparrow Parse works in combination inside Sparrow with instructor agent. Uh, so form data, uh, this is the actually sample document that I'm using in this uh, test and the form data like invoice date, uh, invoice number, then uh, gross or total will be extracted uh, by LLM and this is done because form data is quite uh, complex to process, it's hard to identify relationships and LLM works quite well with that. And then uh, on opposite table data, uh, from my experience for LLM, it's quite hard to process because tables have more information and if you would like to fetch uh, all the data from the tables, all the columns, all the rows, then LLM may struggle and may produce um, uh, some fake data and do hallucination. So for the table data extraction, we'll be use Sparrow Parse. And Sparrow Parse uh, is relying on multiple libraries. Uh, and uh, those, with the help of those libraries, we are reading PDF data and detecting tables and then converting them into HTML structure and then Sparrow Parse uh, implements methods which help to uh, read through HTML table data and read uh, data directly uh, and uh, convert it to the JSON format. Uh, this uh, helps to uh, improve performance and avoid uh, data loss uh, related to LLM hallucinations. Right, uh, so this is the sample document and let's do a test run. Uh, with Sparrow we specify uh, field names that we would like to extract invoice number, invoice date, description, quantity. Uh, as you can see, description and quantity uh, should come from the table. Uh, net price, net worth, VAT, and gross worth. And then we specify uh, types for those fields. And the ones with the list, uh, those, uh, those will be extracted by Sparrow Parse automatically. Uh, because, let's see and the sp sample prompts here as we use instructor agent and then, and then we specify options to extract tables and HTML and those two options mean that uh, Sparrow Parse will be used to process table. So let's execute and this runs on uh, my local machine uh, on CPU using uh, Olama, LLM runs with Olama and basically uh, the same machine I'm using now to record the video and the same machine is processing uh, LLM request so it might be a bit slower than usual but uh, still should be fine, let's see. So in the, in the first step what it did, it actually extracted the data through Sparrow Parse with the help of Unstructured and next it should uh, uh, execute LLM query and uh, fetch the form data and after that is done then uh, Sparrow Parse will be invoked to match uh, uh, query field names with the table column names and then read data directly from table so as soon as this uh, request completes then because I'm running it in debug mode we'll go through the console and you'll see uh, how it executes Okay, now trans and while trans, let's uh, see under the config. Here is the config for the instructor, and to execute uh, LLM request to process the form data, I'm using uh, NoSQLMS uh, LLM fine-tuned on top of Llama three, and this particular LLM uh, works quite well with uh, JSON output. Okay, and. To process, uh, to process actually, uh, to pre-process data, to process PDF, and to construct uh, HTML output, we're using constructed and we're passing strategy HRS and instructor model YOLOX. Uh, so with the help of this model, unstructured is able to identify tables in the document and then uh, form HTML output. Okay, we can see that in 113 seconds the request was executed and again this is slower because I'm running video recording on, on the same machine and it runs on CPU so it's not using GPU. Uh, normally without the video recording the speed would be around uh, 40 seconds. 
Okay, so now we can compare uh, the outputs. Okay, so let's go up. So this is the uh, request that we saw in the beginning. Then we can see that we are running with the instructor pipeline. Uh, loading text data here, and uh, this means that uh, instructor uh, request was completed. Sorry, unstructured request was completed, and uh, uh, we're getting back the data. And we are, uh, unstructured was able to identify that uh, there are tables inside this document. And then we uh, we can sparrow parse that we actually we check how many tables were detected too. And this is the list of tables that uh, will be later sent to Sparrow Parse to uh, read the column names based on, based on the field names that were specified in the request. Okay, in the next step, we, within Sparrow, we identify which uh, query fields are related to the form processing uh, based on type, and then we select those three fields and using them uh, for LLM execution. Uh, with instructor agent uh, in this case. So in this step we execute the, it executed the query and then uh, in the next step we are using uh, Sparrow parse to extract uh, table data and uh, those are columns identified in the table and those are target columns that were specified in a query. So for example we specified that we want to fetch qu quantity but inside the actual document it was uh, QTY and for example uh, uh, gross worth was different so on. And by the way, in Sparrow Parse we're cleaning uh, any non character or numeric characters uh, from the column names to make sure that uh, this comparison which runs for the sentence transformers is more accurate with the high accuracy. Okay, here we compare uh, here we identify indexes from where to fetch, uh, uh, from which column to fetch the data for description, uh, and for example for quantity, uh, it was able to match that quantity is uh, uh, QTY automatically through sentence transformers with 57% probability, and uh, as a threshold we are using I think 50%, so in this case it was successful. Uh, okay, then we are. Uh, actually reading the data directly from the table based on the indices that were uh, calculated comparing the uh, query field names with actual table names. And here we go, here's the output. Uh, this is the, uh, those three fields were generated by LLM and then collection was generated by Sparrow Parse. So if you look briefly, here's the description quantity is extracted correctly, then this net price 12, then net worth 60, VAT 10% and gross worth 66. And let's look uh, on the last line. This is the description, then quantity which is correct, uh, net price, net worth, VAT and gross worth uh, 1429 which is also correct. Okay, so this is the demo and we can, if you look into the instructor agent itself, we'll see that there are two imports from Sparrow Parse, Unstructured Processor and HTML Extractor. Then if you look into the code, we see if in a case when we are um, in involving Sparrow Parse, so when tables option is specified, uh, we are filtering out fields that will be processed by LLM first. We execute the query here uh, through LLM with the, with the help of instructor running locally on Olama. And then in next step, so by the way, in the first step here, we're using uh, uh, help MFA execute Sparrow processor, and it's over here. And this method is using unstructured processor from, uh, from Sparrow parse. Uh, so the, uh, here we get uh, full content and uh, table content and then the full content is being used by LLM to fetch form data and table content is being used in the second step where we where we're using HTML extractor from Sparrow Parse uh, to read uh, uh, table data directly. So with this extractor we invoke read data method, we pass uh, query targets here and we pass the table contents, array of tables and we pass some options like to group uh, 
uh, roast for better readability in JSON, and and so on. So those uh, parameters I'll explain probably in the next video how to use uh, Sparrow Parse. Here I just want to show you uh, just a general demo so that you understand how uh, combined approach works with LLM and Sparrow Parse. So basically it's all happening inside this if block where we uh, execute the LLM in the first step and in the second step we execute Sparrow Parse and get back the answer like that. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you find it useful and thanks and see you next time. Bye.